Hello, hello. Oh, how's everybody doing tonight? Hi, it's Wednesday, January 20th. Hey, Liliana. How are you tonight? Aha, Dana. Hey, Dana, how you doing? I decided to get on. I have a little while to hang out. What you all making? It's that the middle of the week. Well, we've got three people in the house. I guess that's me and you guys. <laughs> oh, oh, Cynthia is working on a 12 point star block. I made one of those. I enjoyed it. Maybe I'll make another one sometime. It came out good. I just made a few of these kind of berets, like different berets. You like the hat? I found the tutorial. And I followed it. The girl didn't know all the, she was saying all the wrong terms to the stitches though, but I still managed to follow it. Here, yeah, look, let me show you. I made this one, I made, uh, I think it was Sunday. You see the Monday night? It might have been Monday where I started, made two hats. I think it was Monday. I made this blue hat. First, first I made the blue hat. See, this one's smaller. They just kept, and then they start getting bigger. Okay, so Cameron's making a granny square of many colors. This one might be for hat, not hate. I, I got to make some blue hats. I made two blue hats so far. You know, I like it though. <clears throat> and uh, so the same person that did the tutorial for this one did it for this one. And I actually tweaked this one and I made it bigger because when she said to start doing the decrease, it seemed like it was too small. Look, these lights are really hot. I have like two lights here. Thank you. Hi, Sunita. How you doing? And artist Irma, nice to meet you. What are you making tonight? And Cynthia? Let's see. Here, oh, I have my head. I have like three heads. I got a guy head, and I have one that I. Hey, Jen, how you doing? I made this hat too. This was supposed to be Julie from the Whippy Chips Chicks uh, hat. I think I might have picked up too big a hook, and it came out a little big. But if you have a lot of hair, it's great. Hey, Veronica, how you doing? So. Did three hats and like the last, this one, I, I feel like the Pillsbury, I mean, you know, it's cute. It's good if you have a lot of hair. What do you think? I had, this was Red Heart with Love. You know, I don't know. I just grabbed this yarn. It was laying around. I got so much yarn. I, I went back. I was a good girl today and yesterday. Yesterday I went back into... Michael's and I didn't buy anything. They still had 50% off yarn there. You know, I just running out of places to put it. I can't crochet fast enough, you know. Then I was in Hobby Lobby today. I went to another store and on the way home, I stopped in the Hobby Lobby and I was, I saw even Clarence yarn, but they had no price on it. So I didn't buy any. So, okay, Ar Aramis. Artist Irma Felicia says, nice to meet you too. I'm making a hooded hat with a face cowl scarf. Sounds good. Sounds interesting. You know, I live in Florida, so. But this, maybe my daughter-in-law would like this. So I had a little trouble with the counting. This one, it was, I like that there's not a lot of holes. But, you know, like, kind of like you had to keep the count going. And then, like, over here is, like, where it gets smaller. I think I messed up on the count slide, but you can't tell. And then it made a brim, like it was all half double crochet until you got to this part. And this part is single crochet, you know. It's 
kind of like the bottom of a pocketbook. So that's all. Which hat? This hat? There's a tutorial. And the girl, sweet young girl, she did the tutorial, but her, she wasn't using the correct crochet terms. She was calling a front post double crochet a puppy stitch. <laughs> I don't know. You'd ha I'll, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to post the uh, link to the to the what you call it. I know what to do. Give me a sec. I'll find the link for it. Are you? Or I'll just put it. I'll put it down below after the video. You know. But uh, I like this one the most, and I think I've seen some others that are cute. You know, I don't know which way to wear it. Anyway, let's see. Did I miss something here? Yeah, so like I was saying, I managed not to buy any. I went into two stores with yarn. I was in Walmart, and I didn't buy any more. Thank God. I got a, I got a curb my appetite <laughs> you know i just love buying the yarn wait it says new comments thank you oh somebody said they like my accent thank you yeah oh you're from long island yeah i'm from brooklyn originally born and raised my whole life and then i don't know i've been in florida for the last five years we followed our oldest son out here so my sister's been in Texas for a really long time, for like over 30 years. I don't think her accent's like mine, but some people say that they could tell she's from New York, you know? So I don't know what I'm gonna start next. Oh, thank you, Liliana. It was a little cool here for a couple of days, but it's not really cold. It just feels cool, cool in the house. And then our hot water heater just kind of died. So I think tomorrow we have to get a new one. I, I took a shower last night and uh, the water was like barely, it was just like a little warm. I kept turning it to the left and the, it would have been scolding normally. And, uh, oh, Joe loves my accent. <laughs> cool. Uh, we like Joe's singing. Dana's husband, and 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 Dana's a great prayer warrior. Hi, that's Danine Horby or Horbell. Oh, she's from Canada. I don't know if I can Sas I can't pronounce it Saskatchewan or sorry, I'll butcher it. <laughs> Must be cold up there in Canada. I've never been there. But, you know, I was raised with cold weather, but in, in New York City, you didn't always get the really, really heavy snow. But occasionally we had a blizzard and then there was nowhere to put the snow at all. And sometimes, you know, you couldn't get out your house. The door would get stuck. I had like a storm door. The door would get stuck and you'd be fighting to get out. So, yeah, she says Irma, Irma says she had family in Brooklyn that also moved to Florida in the Melbourne area. Yeah, I don't. That's much more north, I think. I'm not that familiar with that area. I'm not familiar with a lot of Florida. I, I never came to Florida until uh, we had a death in my husband's family. We came for a funeral. That was the first time I came to Florida. And uh, never thought I would live here. So you never know what's gonna happen with life, you know? And that's all. I'm, uh, maybe my new daughter-in-law would like this. Sometimes her hair is big, you know, like if she lets her hair be curly because she's got curly a hair. So she, I don't know, I'll ask her if she likes it. But this one I like a lot. I think I've seen another one that looked a little bit like this and it has like puppy stitches that look kind of cool, you know? Yeah, two of my children still live in Brooklyn and my new daughter-in-law, so that means three. It's like I have a new, I just got a new daughter. Would you say that you have a hard time? Well, this, this one wasn't too difficult at all because you did these post stitches 
but you had to do these little back loop kind of stitches, like in the back two loops. And uh, it was easy to count the ones in between. So it was easy to see like where it was increasing. And I also kind of went a little bigger on whatever she said, because she must have had a little head or something. So Liliana says, I never thought I'll live in California. I prefer the East Coast. I guess I guess you're not leaving there. And Cameron says, I have lived in the same house my entire 29 years of life. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, I mean, I lived in my parents' house right up to the day I got married. So I was 22 when I got married. And, you know, they lived in other houses before they, they moved to that house. I guess as you get older, sometimes you don't move, you know. Yeah, I like to try new things. I don't know. I didn't start it. I didn't feel good earlier because I don't know. I woke up in the middle of the night and then I couldn't go back to sleep. And then I tossed and I turned and finally I got up and I started crocheting because this one I had started last night and it was just like a little circle. And then I finished it in the morning. Oh, so Cynthia's saying she's having trouble. She says it's glitching. That's, let's see. Let me see if it's glitching. Oh my God. Look at that. I'm on my phone. Oh, I hate the picture they picked. I should have made a big smile before I started. You know, that's funny. Oh, anyway, is anybody else having trouble seeing me? I haven't found any more yarn at the uh, Walmart. It's called a beret, B-R-E-T, beret. What's so funny, Veronica? Oh, so, you know, I hit a thousand and now I have like a million hours to get. <laughs> I have over a thousand, but, you know. Anyway. So what else do you want to talk about? I know I just finished watching Veronica's uh, video, the one with all the books. And she's doing a giveaway. Oh, yeah, the picture was terrible. But I think like, you know what I did the last video when I had the big cake? I like sat there like making faces. <laughs> and I came. I was trying to get a good picture and they still didn't put a good picture. You know, they don't even know. It's a, it's a computer, I guess. So it doesn't know what you're doing. You know? Let's see. I'm, tr I'm trying to get more hours, so I'm putting myself on a different, uh, my husband's uh, thing. So what else is doing? I know you're making granny squares. Yeah, I saw. I love those bags that you bought. That'd be really, I should get some of those bags. I mean, I know you got a whole bunch. Of, and they're a good size, too, to put the yarn in. Yeah, yeah, I was just watching her early. I took a nap. So what happened was I woke up at 3 in the morning, tossed and turned to like 4. I don't know why. I just couldn't go back to sleep. And then I ended up crocheting from like, I think I finally broke down and got a coffee at 5.30. A decaf. Yeah. I know it's 4,000 hours. So whatever. I got a, I got a couple, I got over a hundred in the last couple of days where people are running my playlist. And I'm running my playlist on another, uh, you know, on my husband's, uh, one of his old channels that he doesn't use. I have it on the TV. Oh, you have a buffalo plaid blanket going on. Is it difficult or is it easy? It looks really impressive. I I still don't, you know, I have a couple of books that I found for like clearance at AC Moore and I really haven't ever made anything out of them. The only thing I made out of a book is this little thing a while ago. And he's like a little warped, you know. This was my attempt 
I actually like embroidered that on this little piece of felt a while back. A couple. His ears are crooked. His arms and legs are crooked. <laughs> you know, I do have a bunch of these willow squares. Maybe I'll like make a bunch of those and try to make a blanket out of it eventually. So right now I don't really have it other than those squares. I don't have anything else on the hook, you know. But I did go to the post office earlier today and mailed out the pro the winning prize to the to the to Crystal, and she said that she has a channel, and she said she's going to do a unboxing, which is really cool. I like it that I think the last other two uh, winners I had they did a video of what I sent them, you know. Seemed like everybody was all happy and excited about the uh, scarfy yarn, you know? Oh, you like my little bear? What's a 10 count repeat? Oh, you mean the, is that the Buffalo plaid blanket? The 10? Yeah, okay. Yeah, when you're done here, you make sure you go, if you know, if you don't know Veronica, go visit her and sign up for her giveaway you never know you never know if you're gonna win <laughs> you know i was playing around with the knitting last week but i haven't really been messing with it now you know i don't know what i'm gonna do next <laughs> i just figured i'd come hang out for like an hour we got a little ways to go so we got 12 people in the house So what else is doing? What'd you all do today? So like I said, I went, I didn't babysit today. And I had a few things I had, I was doing some cooking and stuff. I had some, you know, but tomorrow afternoon, I'll have the baby again. So, I mean, I really like to be at Dana's thing in the afternoon, but it's like, he's got the cartoons on and he's, sometimes we go to parks and when we may not even be home, you know? Yeah, I like the, I've seen nice books with like stitches that might, you know, maybe I could follow that. I want to be able to follow more patterns and books and stuff like that, you know. I, I There are, so you know, there's a lot of things online that I, I have interest in to do. I have to look through my yarn. I wish I could have my yarn more out where I could really look at it and like just maybe something will pop out at me and say, Make me, make something from out of me, <laughs> you know? That's all. Anyway. So, does anybody want to show me what they're making? <coughs> I had a slight scratchy tongue earlier. Hopefully it's nothing. Let's see. Yeah, I need some company. But I'll definitely post the links to the uh, tutorials for these. This one's really nice, and it was very, very easy, but it's got a lot of big holes. So I guess it's nice if you don't, if it's not too cold out. This is the best time to watch lives. Yeah, well, I checked first, but I didn't see it that, I didn't see anybody was on, so I figured I'd just get on, you know. I just can't seem to plan a specific time, you know. Anyway, it's hard to, you could see it's blue, or maybe it looks purple. It's red hot. This is red hot too, but it's so much softer. It was some yarn I bought a while ago on clearance at Walmart a long time ago. It's like a ecru or something color, kind of, Kind of like an off-white, and I like it. I've made a couple of hats on the knitting room. See, it's up there. I have a, you know, but I, I don't know. I still find that crochet is easier for me. But, you know, I kind of got a kick out of it. And then I sent a loom. That was part of my giveaway. I had a couple of looms. I had bought all the looms on clearance. Like, you know, a while back, earlier in the last year. 
you know. Oh, so what what are you saying, Liliana? You can't you can't watch lives during the day? Yeah, this isn't a bad time. Yeah, I, I'm trying, I tried the knitting here. I pulled this off the needles. It was coming along. I think I made it too wide. I was going to try to make a washcloth and I decided it was too wide. But eventually I'll try again. I don't know, just wasn't that motivated. I want to maybe use a regular, I think this yarn was too thin. I think I want to use a little thicker yarn, maybe make a little scarf or something. I want to make a scarf that has like the keyhole in it. I was looking at one the other day and I was thinking about it. Just haven't decided what yarn to use. Maybe I'll make something to go with that hat, you know? You you like Cynthia says I watch videos because I really get lost reading. Yeah, I don't do a lot of reading. You know? Too many distractions. I bring it is here. Hi, how are you doing? Are you crocheting anything Anybody from i know where some of you are from where's everybody from what's on your hook your cup <laughs> oh so jen says she likes the blue hat yeah well it takes time to get good at anything so like i i could before when i tried knitting i couldn't even get past the cast on, you know. Oh, so Liliana says she's involved on many things. Yeah, I, I tend to, I like doing one thing at a time. I just don't like when I finish it and then I don't know what to do next. So I keep saying I'm gonna like start three things. Cynthia says she's in Tennessee or and she's having coffee. You know, coffee, I drink decaf lately. For the last almost two over two years now and irma says oh so you're from long island but living in ohio and hope to retire in florida with my family okay yeah i don't think i've been to ohio i mean could have driven through there with my family when i was younger but i can't say i've been there you know yeah, I drink decaf, but I had my I had my limit. Nebraska, where I'm from, I don't have anything on the crochet right now. And you're drinking an iced tea. Yeah. My dad was from Nebraska, Lydia. He was raised there and then met my mother during World War II. He was stationed in New York. And my mom was living in New was born and raised in Brooklyn. Her, her parents were immigrants. Zero sugar monster, don't judge in Chicago. Well, I don't judge, you know, but I did have a, I had heart surgery. So like, I don't, that's why I stopped drinking decaf and, you know, just be careful with energy drinks. Cause you know, they could cause arrhythmias, but if you don't feel an arrhythmia, you're good. You know, I don't ever want to go into AFib again. <laughs> One day I'll go, I'm going to make a video about that kind of thing. Maybe I'll do a heart series, an aphid. <laughs> what do you think? So Veronica's saying hi to artist Irma. And uh, let's see, did I miss any comments? Oh, what part in Nebraska? Ah, oh, my foot's falling asleep. Do you believe that? I'm sitting in this chair. I'm not even sitting that long. You want to come up, Dana? You want to hang out with me on my video? <laughs> you want me to put the link again? Kind of went up to the top. Yeah, so I did. I took a nap and I woke up refreshed. <laughs> I needed it. Yeah, well, I know you're not originally from uh, Atlanta, Veronica. How long are you living in Georgia? Oh. 
Whenever I think of Veronica, I think of the cartoon when I was young. I used to watch Veronica and Jughead. I can't remember. TV was different back then. Yeah, naps are good. Well, it's just it's ridiculous that I was so awake so early in the morning. But I tend to stay up usually till midnight. You know, I should have been sleeping. But I tend to look at my, you know, if I get up for the bathroom or something, I tend to look at my phone sometimes. <laughs> and then maybe that woke me up. Oh, that's a long time, yeah. Yeah, well, my daughter and I have two daughter-in-laws now. One to go. Hopefully, you know, hopefully my other son will meet somebody nice. So my one daughter-in-law is from, born in, born in Cuba came to the United States when she was a little child. And so she's been raised in Florida. And my other, my new daughter-in-law was born in Dominican Republic. And uh, she was born and raised, I mean, raised in the Bronx. I don't know, she must've came as a little child also. Oh, cool. That's interesting. She shared my live on Facebook. You never know who's gonna come in. Your crochet won't let you sleep. <laughs> that was last night. Well, I figured if I started crocheting, right, maybe I would get sleepy again if I crocheted a little of the hat. And I was watching people's uh, videos. I was too tired. Like sometimes I'll like fall asleep on them because I'm tired. Not that they're boring or anything, you know. I might need another haircut soon. Hmm. You sleep with yours? <laughs> yeah, I tend to have stuff around. I got to get more organized, you know? Yeah, so, I mean, yesterday we had the baby an extra day too because he didn't have school on Monday. So we had him like a good part of the day and then we had him again yesterday. Now I'm going to have him the next two days. So it's like a busy work week for us. Yeah, well, you take your hook and kind of shove it into the ball of yarn so that you don't lose it. <laughs> but I hear you. I have a lot of duplicates of the ones I use a lot. I like the I like my Susan Bates. I like the ones with those grips on the handles. So anyway. So I, I was going to try to do a live on my phone, but I didn't. I don't know how that would be. I was thinking if, if I, well, you know, you got to be so careful with any music. Hey, Susan, how you doing? I'm doing good. I mean, I, I was tired. I took a little nap before because I had insomnia last night. But I did get something done. I tried all these berets. You like the boy? I have some of those and I can use them. I love my Susan Bates. And I bought a couple of other ones like at Hobby Lobby, stuff like that. I think the blue one fits pretty good. So we got blue. And I like how this one looks. I think when I was younger, I used to wear like these kind of hats. You know, but I store bought ones. Even though my mother crocheted, she never crocheted me. She crocheted herself hats because my mom had a bone disease and it affected her head and it, her head got big. Like, so she would have to make her own hats, otherwise, she couldn't find a hat to fit. It was called Paget's bone disease. So she knew how to crochet and she used to crochet those. Uh, these little, those little round things, and I forget what they're called. You know what they're called? Those little round things? Too bad I didn't have one of her hats. I have some of her sewing boxes. There is a little corner of the crochet world. Hello, how you doing? And Dana is finishing, a, I think I saw your sweater earlier. I was watching, watching you this morning, and I, I stepped into Joe's live for a while. Okay, good night, Irma. Nice, thanks for coming in. 
you know, and his, this one came out a little big, but it's a statement piece. <laughs> I don't know. I can't seem to adjust it properly. I think it's really good if you have a lot of hair. Whoop, there goes the TV remote. So what'd she say? Good night. I don't know. I missed something. I don't know what someday, I, you know, some people have their chat go so fast they can't even read it, you know, but I don't have that problem yet. It says we have 20 in the chat, but two of them are me because <laughs> I have it on my phone. Anyway, but that was it for today as far as what I made. I've made a, I've made a couple of wearables. I've made a, uh, a top with like short sleeves and I broke up a mandala cake and I tried to make it match and it matched pretty good. And then I made another top like a sweater with three quarter sleeves and it was uh, made out of comfy cotton. I wasn't in love with the comfy cotton though. One second. I dropped the TV remote. <laughs> I'm always dropping stuff. And that's all. So nobody wants to come up and hang out on StreamYard. Usually somebody wants to. Whoops. Oh, I'm going to, I bring it, what's your name? I'm going to put the link down below. Now, let me look for it. I can't remember the name of it now. But I'll find it in a second. I There was somebody else that I was watching their video and they had made it. You know, Lily's Yarn World. Hi. Welcome in. And Christie's Creations. Yeah, I got a bunch of comfy cotton. Somebody said they, you know, it's like somebody else a while back who does a lot of wearables. She kept making tops out of it. So I thought, oh, I, I only paid probably a dollar. I paid like a dollar each for them. So I figured, oh, I'll make a top out of it. But I wasn't that in love with it. Maybe it'll be better for like washcloths or something because it's like half cotton, you know. Let's see if I can find that. I'm trying to find that tutorial. Oh, but I see some other ones that look nice. So here it is. This is what it looks. See, this is the blue one. And her name is Trace, Trace, Tracy Beauty. That's the name of her channel. And the video is like nine years old. You made one and it was too big. Well, I think hers ran small. Like I try to put it on my head and the blue one, I made it a little bigger. Then there was a different one that was telling you to measure your head first. I'm trying to see if there's any other. One. She had another one. Some of them do look big. See some that look more spiral, like kind of like a divine hat. That looks interesting. And I don't know if it's in English. I'm trying to find the other one. I could put the link in the. Anyway. You I I may you make me want to make a couple of hats for myself. I just could could decide what to make, you know. I I get like that sometimes. I was in a little bit I made a couple of blankets and I just wasn't in the mood to do another blanket. Let's see. Now to go back to the live. <laughs> Oh, I can't post links because I'm not uh okay. I'll put it I'll put it down below after. I'll put the uh tutorials for all three of the hats and I'll write down which one's which. So you'll see if you want to do it, you'll check it out. You know? Yeah, I want to try to make some more blue hats because I had brought there's a place down here that was collecting hats not hats from hats not hate. And what right before, right around the beginning of the whole pandemic thing 
So I had driven over there. It's like it was like only like 25 minutes from me, 20 minutes, something like that. So I drove there and I brought the lady hats and she was going to be sending them in that week. And then she gave me a bunch of blue yarn. So I kind of said I'd make some more hats for them. And then they didn't take the hats. They didn't distribute them. So I have to call her and see if uh, if she's going to be doing it, you know, if she's going to be sending them in again. So. Oh, Liliana says that I don't look nice with hats. They don't like me. I mean, it's hot. It's really hot here. But I may eventually, I'm hoping to get to New York to visit my kids. So then I may need a hat, you know. I would only wear them in the winter. But, you know, when you, like, you don't wear anything, like anything too warm. There was only one day I wore my, my, my jacket and it's old. Like I just, ca I have two jackets in my closet just for an emergency or if I'm going away, you know. Cynthia says, most of the amigurumi that I make, the tutorials aren't in English, so I have to watch them on slow motion. Okay, well, like like I said, that the two hats, the blue one and the, the, the off-white one, the girl, she, she wasn't using any of the, she didn't even say double crochet. She was saying, she just kept saying, do the loop and do that loop and this, oh man, it was like, you know. <laughs> It happens though, because like that's that's how she learned from her grandmother or something. So they weren't using the correct terms. But I still was able to follow her. She was doing it good, you know. Well, you never know. You might find a hat that looks good on you. You know? And uh well, it's too bad I wasn't doing all this crocheting crocheting when I lived up in New York when it was chilly, you know. Jen says, I hit my head on things when I wear hats. That's, <laughs> so I, I mean, I always, my mother always overdressed me growing up. I was like really skinny kid that was always sick, you know? Yeah, well, you know, I'd be crocheting now. I started crocheting again. This is, this, you know, I crocheted when I was 19, actually made a couple of things and then I stopped. And then when the grandbaby was coming, I learned again. And then in the beginning, you know, everything was hard. Like when I first learned again, it was like learning for the first time. So now I'll go, you know, now I could go back to things I couldn't do three years ago. And I could do them. You know, I'll think like that was hard. So there's a couple of things I want to go back and try again. You know, there's still things I probably, probably avoid. <laughs> you know. You know, I didn't like, probably didn't like those front posts, back posts in the beginning. Or I couldn't follow certain tutorials because I couldn't see good. I don't really do patterns. I could follow easy, really easy patterns. I made one show where they didn't have a tutorial and I followed the pad, the Lost in Time one, I think. And it was real pretty too. It was just easy, easily written, like it was easy to follow. And the hats, you know, like if you don't, if you want to just whip up something easy, I find I could do a hat in a couple of hours. Uh oh. What happened? Oh, that's funny. Somehow it, another window opened up and covered the screen and I couldn't see myself. Sa oh, hi, Sarah. How you doing? Sarah's little corner of the crochet world. She said her mom gave me yeah. Nia what? My mom gave me a Intro to written pat. I don't know what you're saying there. So, yeah, it takes time to learn things, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. You know? Oh, a one minute intro? <laughs> oh, goodness. I did. What's she saying? 
lost all shawl and almost lost my yeah my niece would love that shawl i'm not a big f i did the pineapple shawl which pie the spider did and i had to write a lot of notes but i never did it again but i and i did this one with these also with falling leaves i really liked it i did it twice and it also had like a five or six row repeat but i did it and it came out good i have pictures i'm sure i have instagram i have even now a facebook group if anybody wants to join it on facebook it's you know not a lot of people there yet you could get in at the ground floor level be be an original <laughs> and so yeah i have instagram i have an, an sd you know i have a few you know i have a bunch of things on there i only sold one thing I put some stitch markers on. I got to put something else on there. I have a call the midwife blanket I should put on there. I thought that maybe I was going to gift it to somebody that was having a baby. And I made a pink one and they had a boy. So I'm not going to be giving that blanket to them. You know? Let's see. I guess nobody wants to come up and, and chat with me. Let's see. It says there's 16 people here. Oh, how's everybody feeling? I don't know if I told you, but my sister and her family have, have the virus. But they're all home and... Uh, the pineapple, yeah, I did the pineapple shawl from Fiber Spider. Yeah, so my sister, she has, she said she feels like she's got a cold. She did test positive. Her husband's been having like, like a low grade fever, like usually around dinner time, like he's not, and they've been getting a lot of rest and people from their church have been bringing them food and stuff. And my nephew, who's like, he's in his early thirties. He's, uh, he stays home. He's like, he's highly functioning autistic. Like and he, anyway, he had a bad cough. He he was bored. He kept complaining. So, you know, I guess he had a friend over, and the friend said he had allergies, but the kid was sick, and I guess he didn't realize he was sick. And I think that's how they all caught it. And then in the middle of all that, they had plumbing issues. But thank God they got somebody that came out, and they were able to get it fixed. The guy didn't have to come in their house. It was a broken pipe outside. So, because originally they said, we can't come for two weeks. And meanwhile, they they couldn't flush or do laundry or take showers or anything. So, thank God in like a couple of days, they got it done. Yeah. Talk about, uh, that's crazy, you know. They're in Texas. Excuse me. Got indigestion. I ate like, yes, thank you for the thumbs up. So, so if you want to join my little group and be able to post things you make that'd be cool we're not we're not doing too much on there right now but we're working on it i just figured i'd start one now you know yeah thank god i mean my brother-in-law he still has he's still like he got it last so he's not feeling as good as the other two are starting to get better and even though they were trying to stay away from him he still caught it you know it's hard to when her daughter had it, she was exposed, and they didn't, they all didn't catch it. But this time they caught it. So I, they had the close call before. What what's your, all your challenge in crochet? For, I don't know. I just want to keep doing things I haven't done before and learning new things. I haven't decided. <laughs> I might eventually. Uh, I had bought these patterns, these mos I had done that big mosaic blanket. Just it's hot here, so I really don't need big blankets. But I did buy another pattern for a different mosaic, and maybe I would do a small version. Because, you know, it looked a little more intimidating than the last one. Like I didn't she wrote out the pattern differently. She did charts last time. And then she had it written out. And this time she didn't do it the same. I have to look at it again. I have I had bought the pattern that's sitting there in my Ravelry, you know. That's all. 
And uh, I was watching somebody made a video about all their goals. And, you know, uh, I don't know. I kind of enjoy how I do things. Like, I see something mildly crazy me is here. Hi, how you doing? You know, I and Joelle is here. How you doing? Welcome in from Canada. Yeah, I mean, I I don't really have big goals. I definitely like I was watching somebody else that said she wanted to make six new blankets this year that she never did before instead of just doing the same old ones that I've done before. Kind of like I did a bunch of virus shawls or virus meets granny shawls and uh, kind of haven't wanted to do one because I did a bunch of them already. But I enjoyed doing them, you know. Hey, Granny T, how you doing? I'm sorry if you were on. I don't know if you were on today or not. I didn't watch. I did jump into a few lives today, but then I ended up having to take a nap and I was out part of the day, you know. Some people are able to like put their phone on and listen to a live in their car. But as soon as I get in my car, my phone only works with the the radio for telephone calls and I can't even turn a video on, leave it on the seat and let it play, you know. Oh, you bought the mosaic and, and the Phoenix blanket pattern. Well, I bought the, Fe I think I got the Phoenix and I got the Queen and I made the Havana. So I bought. And I have some other patterns for I did the shawl, but I didn't I made a lot of mistakes on the shawl, but it still looks fancy, you know. So and it's not that hard, the uh mosaic. It's just a lot of ends, and then I had to do that double border to get rid of the ends, you know. Yeah, the mosaic it just takes time, you know. I did I did the the starting chain. The same as she did in the pattern for the Havana. And it was, it's almost a twin, it's on my couch, you saw it. It's almost a twin size. I like looking at it. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to get cold here. You know? I did finally get my tree down last, like, last, I think it was the day after the they had the wedding. I'm still waiting for my son to finish editing the wedding video. Like he's my son that has a channel. He's working on the old video from the Zoom and stuff. And he's going to like edit the whole wedding so I can watch it again from the beginning. Like, you know, they want to have it. And then maybe my sister could see it because she couldn't get on the Zoom. She's not too computer savvy, <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, the I don't have the blanket in this room, but the ends went into like you made a board, you made two borders, and then the ends got trimmed, and or you could make tassels like twisted things, so you didn't have to weave anything in. But I did have to crochet like a uh, a big border twice, and then sew it together, and then the ends go inside the border. It's pretty cool, you know. Yeah, so. Mildly crazy me says, I like to make what I feel like making. However, I have five UFOs and just trying to work on them first, but it's hard because somehow I feel out of love. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not saying I never ditched a project. Occasionally I'll start something and then all of a sudden it's not going well and I'll just like frog it immediately. But I got a bunch of squares in a bag now because I was just using different colors. And I was thinking they don't maybe they don't really go together and one came out too big and I like the square and I think maybe I'll eventually put them together. Yeah. That's all. And uh you know me, I'll find something new to make. I'm like looking at scrap yarn in a bag here. I got yarn everywhere. My yarn is out of control. You know? So everybody, so Cynthia saying hi to Granny D. Yeah, well, I, I didn't, I had some ends with the last blanket I made, but I only, I changed rows like every two rows. Hey, Daigo, how you doing? She's giving me a virtual hug. <laughs> what are you making, Daigo? Tell us. What's in your cup? Where are you from again? I don't remember. Yeah. 
So Granny D says, yeah, I watched that Tina lately and she was talking about how worrying about all the ends, but you could cover the border with the, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you had to do like a slip stitch all the way around the blanket. And it was a really big blanket. And then you worked on one side of the slip stitch, you worked, you know, you, you worked in like double crochet border. And then I did on the front, I did like a design border, which, you know, I don't know how I did it. I, I did a mosaic scarf for my son once from, from her. I wouldn't mind making something mosaic in the round. Your husband, it is an, it's partially an addiction. A lot of men have like toys and stuff like that. Oh, so Zygo is doing a test pattern for Sarah. I don't, I'm not sure who Sarah is. Hi, Sarah. She's saying, hi, Sarah. Is Sarah in the house? Let's see. Yeah, I'm not that experienced with patterns to be testing anybody's pattern, you know? Oh, there's Sarah. <laughs> Maybe I saw you earlier. Oh, I see. That's nice. So what kind of test pattern is it? Like, okay, well, you're not allowed to say. Where are you from, Sarah? Well, yeah, I guess, you know, to write it out, you want to make, if you're going to try to sell them someday, you want to make sure that people could understand them. So I go is giving you a virtual hug, Dana. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm only going to stay on an hour, I think. Oh, you're in West Texas. Yeah, my sister's in Texas. Not, I don't think it's West Texas, though. So. She's in the Grand Prairie. Yeah, it's not far from Dallas. Like, you know, if I was to fly to Texas, it's in the Dallas area. Someday I got to get out there and visit her again. I haven't seen my sister in a long time, you know. We're, we're tied up. It's hard to get away. And then when I do want to get away, I want to see my kids, you know. I miss them. I saw my son last year for his 30th birthday, and now he's married. He's 31. <laughs> he's my baby. Oh, a purse pattern from Manitopia, Canada. Okay. I made a couple of market type bags. Oh, you're in, oh, you're in Grand Prairie, so you're, you're near my sister. Don't ask me where she lives. I don't know exactly. I don't haven't been there in years. And you used to live in that small world, isn't it? I visited there several times. And I went there for her daughter's wedding. And she's married a long time already. So that was the last time I think I went to Texas. It's really, really hot there in the summer. And they do get, they can get snow, you know. Where by me, you're not going to ever see snow by me. It would be like a freak of nature <laughs> where I am. I'm really South Florida. So, you know, I really don't have use to wear hats and scarves unless I go visit somebody. Or it, we have a, like a one weekend where it's freezing. I'll put a hat on just to wear it, you know. Oh, so Cynthia says, I just finished the one from the crochet crowd. Christmas colors that like weaving in drove me bananas. Excuse me. Well, I bought a whole book load of that mistletoe yarn. So now I'm going to have to make something with it eventually. It's not an emergency since Christmas just ended, you know. And I just put took down the wreath. I didn't put that much decorations up, you know. Yeah, it is a small world. That's all. And, to, you know, like I have one person here that she's not in the room, I don't think, that she's from around the area I'm from, you know. So it's fun to talk about the old neighborhood. <laughs> but even my na old neighborhood isn't the same anymore. Hey, Squishy. I'm good. I'm doing all right. Oh, I... Found that 64 cent yarn at the Walmart and it's called mistletoe and it's like a 
variegated green, red, and like off, like soft white yarn. So I caught a deal. So I just, I went to three Walmarts last week and I bought a bunch of it. So I have plenty of Christmas yarn, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so that's what mistletoe yarn is. It's the name of it. I don't have it handy. I don't feel like opening my closet. It's in there. I don't think I have one out. Do I? No. And then I had got a bunch of this for 75 cents each. This is that uh, hometown USA. Whoops. I love getting it for cheaper. <laughs> What are you making, Squishy? Something Squishy? Yeah, 64 cents. I actually got some of them for 50 cents. The first store rang up 50 cents, and I got the camouflage, you know, you know, the camouflage one. I don't know. Then after I bought it already, I thought it was all in this, the Christmas section. You know, after I bought it, people in a certain, I'm in a certain group where people show their yarn holes. Like if you were to buy a bunch of yarn or, you know, Somebody was to gift you yarn. People would post pictures, which is fun, you know. And then they were like, oh, it was a glitch. Like, like it was a glitch. But I don't know. It could have definitely the Christmas yarn was 90% off. So it was 64 cents and it was originally like $6.44. That's all. I mean, how do you turn that down? And then I went to a different store where I found the paint box yarn, the Salvation Army. They didn't have any yarn, you know. They had they had some yarn, but they had like one ugly skein there that I left. And they had like I used to make hook rugs when I was young. Did you ever make a hook rug? Yeah, you gotta you have to have the app Veronica in your phone, and then you scan it in the store. It, like there was still leftover of the Christmas yarn. You should definitely maybe they just didn't have it because I went into a couple other stores like different days. And they didn't have any. So she's so she's working on some squares at the moment. What is it? Here yeah, I can't see. Birthstone Mal? Okay. Well, I just finished some hats. Here, I'll show you my hats. You missed it. First I made this one. They're all berets. And made them over the last two two days or something. So, and I I'm gonna put the tutorial but down below. Yeah, just scan them. You never know. People were finding colors that you wouldn't think. You know. Then I made this one. Same girl made this tutorial. I like this one. And the next one came a little big. This was from Julie the Whippy Chip chick she's one of the yarn hookers i think it came a little big i might have used like a too big a hook. but i mean if you had a lot of hair i don't have a lot of hair i think it would look better you know you could wear it back more like this like kind of slouchy sometimes people have a lot of hair in there you know thank you they were fun to make and they worked up the blue one worked up really fast, but it has a lot of holes. So, I mean, I wouldn't think, I don't know if it would be warm enough, you know. Thank you. Yeah, I make a lot of things. I made a video. It's not the best video, but I used, like, a software, and I didn't pay for it. So it has, like, a, you know, the watermark showing most of the things I made last year. And I couldn't believe how many things I made. Oh, yeah, so I was saying that I'm in this. I saw it before. It was still there. A whole container full of like hook rug stuff and those little round. I used to make hook rugs when I was a kid, when I was like 18. I made a couple and I, one of them was for the floor and the other one I had it framed. Eventually I got rid of them. Like I didn't keep them for it. You know, after I got married, they were in my house for a while. One had like roses, whatever. I enjoyed making them at the time. You know? But somebody gave up all their hook rug stuff. What's that?
Oh. Oh, so Dana says she used to wear berets all the time. I had a family member ask me why I wore them so much. Maybe you just like them. I think I used to wear them too at one time. I think I had some, but they were not crocheted. You know, I bought them at the store like that. I My mother used to overdress me. My friend used to make fun of me. Like I used to, I had a hat. I used to have to take the dog to the park and it'd be freezing. So I'd have my ears covered. I'd have the scarf. You know, once we got married, later we got dog. We had dogs. But we have one dog now. And a cat. We had a cat that was 16 that we had to put him down during the pandemic. And you could We couldn't go in with him, you know. I mean, we should have done it sooner. My husband just didn't want to do it, you know. And uh, we had a cat that my husband was feeding. And he's kind of moved in now. <laughs> So he's a neighborhood cat, but he lives here now. So what are you saying, D? Sweet Setta from Setta's Place is donating her February calendar cow. I nearly fainted. Oh, I never followed a cow, and I don't know. I'm still in the stage of I want to learn new things and kind of, I don't know, kind of just want to do my own thing. Yeah, if they look good on you, you should wear them, you know? I mean, I'm sure you wear other hats because you live in a cold climate. I mean, they made fun of me for wearing uh, sweaters and under my coat and wearing scarves and gloves. And my friend would go out with her jacket open. I would get sick. I was a sickly kid, you know? I knew I had a heart problem when I was a kid. I was like real thin. Kids used to make fun of me, you know? So I dressed warm. <laughs> you know, I had older parents. My parents had me late in life. I was the baby. So, you know, they they were a little grandma and mommy. I had like grandma live with us. And so it was like having two moms, you know? There was always somebody home. And my mother didn't really, she had a driver's license, but she didn't drive. And grandma, of course, didn't drive. Uh, anyway, anyway, we're on an hour now and it's late. I'm going to make it short for tonight. I'm going to try to do more lives, but, you know, nobody wants to hang out with me and, you know, it's late. And eventually, you know, I may have to hang out with my husband, see how he's feeling. His back was hurting tonight. So I don't know how he's feeling. I'm going to go check on him soon. That's all. I didn't have to cook tonight because I, I didn't feel good. So he let me, I was tired. So he let me sleep. <laughs> I took a nap. I think I laid down at like four and I, I laid there till like 7.30, almost eight o'clock. Oh, you missed something? You missed, yeah. Well, you could watch it from the beginning if you want. I just showed my hats at the beginning and I just showed them again, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, my parents lived, my mother lived to be 87 and my father lived to be 94, but he died in 10 years after my mother. She was older than him, you know, and, uh, and he passed in 2013. <clears throat> I was still living in New York at the time, you know, but yeah, it's rough when you don't have your parents anymore. That's all. Anyway, I'm glad that my kids that are in New York are taking good care of themselves. They know where to find me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call it a night. I got these two lamps on me and I'm sweating. And um, I don't know, what's that say? Why does that dawn autocorrect stuff? Yeah, it happens to me too. I'll, t I'll be texting my son and, or somebody and I'll type in my husband's name and it changes it. It's really weird. <laughs> it changes words all the time. It just assumes you're going to type what it thinks. Occasionally it's helpful. So you type less, you know. Thanks for coming in, Squishy. Oh, the Yarny Traps. So someone else says the, uh, the YouTube streets or something. That's another one I've been hearing. Yeah, I'm losing my voice, I think. 
I was having like a slight funny feeling in my throat. Yeah, okay. Don't forget Veronica's having a uh, giveaway. I'm going to do another giveaway in the near future. You know, I think I'm going to wait a week. Let my package get to the person. You know, thanks for coming in. I enjoyed all your company. And uh, we'll do this again soon. I'm going to try to whip up some more things. So, Dana, make some hats. <laughs> I know you got a lot on your hook. Just kidding. Bye.